Hi guys, Ghost Puppa here. So, a lot of you guys that follow the channel have been asking about, hey, can you make Red Eyes, Keshtira, and Master Duel? So, as of today, we actually got a surprise bonus of getting Red Eyes Black Meteor Dragon alongside the expected uh, Red Eyes Soul, which Soul is a decent card, um, and we're going to run it as a one of in here. But the real thing that's going to help to enable us is Red Eyes Black Meteor Dragon. So to answer your question, I've cooked up a pretty fun and actually decently competitive deck list here that utilizes uh, Meteor Dragon to get some more special summons out and get the Kashtira engine going and also has Red Eye Soul just as another way to easily go into uh, Meteor Black Comet Dragon and also get some hefty burn damage that can sometimes surprise your opponent during their turn. But aside from that, let me go ahead and go through the deck list for you guys. We have Red Eyes Black Dragon. Um, at a 2 of, we have Black Metal Dragon at a 2 of. Notice how some of these numbers have dropped a bit just because we needed to make room for some of our Cash Tira cards. Now, in full power Red Eyes Cash Tira, we would ideally be using at the very least Cash Tira Theosis as well. Cash Tira Theosis is an extender in Cash Tira decks, which if you have access to one cash tier on field, it lets you special summon another from deck, instantly giving you access to rank 7 plays. That really, really helps the consistency of this deck, but for now, this is as far as we can take it. And I think you should have some definite fun all the way up to gold, and honestly, you could probably take this in plat and have a good time too. But continuing on, we have 2 Max C, because Max C. We have Mecha Phantom Beast O Lion, which is a sin target for um, Aurorodon. We have Phantom Knights of Silent Boots. This is for Slash. Same thing as you guys have seen in my adventure build. Uh, we send it to make Slash, banish it, search out Phantom Knights Fogblade. Three Ash Blossom, two Cash Tira Rise Heart, which this is a normal summon um, if you can do that, because if you special summon it while a Cash Tira is on the field, it will lock you in Xyz. Also, keep in mind, this is one of the Cash Tiras that is a warrior. So you can actually use this as equip material for Slash later on. Um, it's Banish effect, makes it a level 7, and also gives you access to Kashtira as long as you have their continuous spell Kashtira Birth on field. Um, followed by that, we have two copies of our Red Eyes Black Meteor Dragon. We have uh, Bistials, one of each of those. Magnumut, Serenir, Drusworm, Baldrake. We have one soul, as I said. We have two Fenrir, so we're maxing that out. We have to max out Cash Tira Unicorn because Cash Tira Theosis isn't a thing. Um, but we definitely run three of those. Then we run one Cash Tira Ogre. So of these three, these are the three level sevens that special summon that are currently Master Duel. Fenrir, uh, once it can special summon, but then also uh, one, it can search for another Cash Tira from deck to hand. Usually you will search Rise Heart and Extend. Um, also, if it attacks, it can banish one face-up card. That could be a monster, that could be a spell, that could be a trap, any of those. Um, Unicorn, special summon, it can search a Cash Tira spell from deck to hand. Right now, we use it to search birth. Later on, you can use it to search Cash Tira Theosis. Its secondary effect is when it attacks or when a monster, act uh, opponent's monster activates its effect, you can look at your opponent's extra deck, so you're getting extra deck knowledge, and banish one monster from it face down. Ogre. Same special summon clause. Um, it can search a Cash Tira Trap, which right now we have Cash Tira Preparations. Um, later on, there will be a lot more options for us to go into, but for now, this is the one that we're going to run. Um, also, when an opponent's muster activates an effect or when it attacks, it lets you excavate up to five cards deep off the top of your opponent's deck, banish an excavated card face down, and place the rest on top in the same order. So keep in mind, this does sort of let you choose what your opponent is going to be drawing, but it does give them hand knowledge, and you are not changing the order, so they will know what's coming. After that, we run two Bestial Lubellions for our uh, Bestial package. We run a Red Eyes Darkness Metal, Monster Reborn, one for one, two Red Eyes Fusions, Triple Tactics Talent, we only run this as a one because we do risk bricking in Red Eyes and we need to keep things as tight and clean as possible. So we run it as a one. One Branded Regained for our Bestials. Two Birth. We run two Called By. We run a Red Eye Spirit. 
Red Eyes Fang with Chain. I already mentioned Fog Blade. We do run Branded Beast in this deck, unlike some of my other Red Eyes decks, because we do have the capability to recycle a lot easier with this variant. So we definitely run in this as a one of. Then Prep, as I mentioned. So in our extra deck, uh, we run the two Red Eyes Fusions that are pretty key to most of our builds, which is Slash and Meteor Com uh, Black Comet. Then we run um, the Tomahawk package, which for those of you that don't know, back in the beginning of Master Duel, a lot of people would take um, Halkia Fibrax, go into Auroradon, and then Auroradon um, to basically build up a really powerful Synchro Negate board. So now we can do similar using two uh, level sevens to make rank seven Galaxy Tomahawk. It does... Um, prevent you from doing any battle damage that turn, but if you're going first, who cares? So Tomahawk creates tokens underneath it, so you can either summon it at the top in the extra deck zone and create five tokens. You can do it um, in the main monster zones and create four tokens, whatever you need. Those tokens, uh, three of them will go into Auroradon. Auroradon is only uses two or more uh, machine monsters based on how many links you have on the field. All of these tokens are machines, so it's a perfect match. Once you do that, um, you tribute this to Special Summon Out, that copy of Mecha Phantom Beast O Lion I mentioned. Um, then you use the tokens plus uh, Mecha Phantom Beast O Lion to make Borload Savage. That gives us our triple Omni Negate because we are going to equip the Aurora Dawn that we sent. Um, this also boosts uh, the attack of Borload Savage to 4050. After that, we run two Red Eyes Flare Medals. Then we follow that with number 89, Diablosis. So Diablosis is a key card in our Kashtira line, and it sort of lets you enable some of the deck locking and also gives you a peek at your opponent's extra deck. You don't have to run this if you feel it's too mean, but it is a valid part of the package, so it's definitely something to consider. Dark Arm, the Dragon of Anni Annihilation, works good in Adventure and some of the other Red Eyes builds, but it's especially good in Kashtira. A lot of the things like the traps, which special summon on your opponent's turn, special summon from Banished or in your hand. So, you can actually banish Kashtiras that were um, material uh, from Dark Arm by detaching material, popping a card on your opponent's field. It can be Monster, Spell, or Trap. Banishing the cash tier and then it's instantly available for cash tier prep and for further extension After that we have Shangri-Ira, which is the cash tier Xyz monster that's currently in the game This card has some destruction protection and it also is what locks the zones and it special summons a cash tier monster from your deck During either standby phase so you can do it once during yours once during your opponents it's a pretty great card after that, we have Link Spider because we have a lot of tokens and we need to use this to get into Vert. Uh, we have Striker Dragon for typical Red Eyes combo. We have Heratic Seal of the Heavenly Spheres for a non targeting bounce. Uh, Verte because as long as it's there, we're going to be playing it. Um, also, Black Luster Soldier, Soldier of Chaos as sort of a Link boss monster and board clear. And just to keep in mind, the ideal starting turn is we'll go into Tomahawk to Aurorodon, to Borload, but on the way we'll have enough tokens to also make Vert, so we'll end the turn with Borload and Slash Dragon on the field. So now that we've talked about the deck a little bit, let's watch it in action and see some replays. Okay guys, so first off, let's go ahead and showcase a good first turn for Red Eyes Kashtira. We will summon Kashtira Unicorn, we will activate Kashtira Unicorn's effect to Search for Cash to Rebirth. Let's go ahead and activate Cash to Rebirth. We will then, in this case, summon Fenrir using Birth's effect. Uh, Birth lets you summon any level 7, so I could have summoned Red Eyes Black Dragon if I so chose. Alright, we'll use Fenrir's effect to search Rise Heart to Hand. We will then go ahead and use both of them to go into Tomahawk. I'm going to summon Tomahawk into the main monster zones. We have plenty of summon room, so we don't use, need to use the top, and I want to use my resources wisely just to make sure that I can get into what I need for the follow-up. So we'll go ahead and activate Tomahawk, detach both, cash Tira, summon four tokens,
Okay, in this case, I will then go ahead and link one of them away. It's a link spider. Because I'm going to make vert first, and verte requires that you use um, two effect monsters. The reason I'm doing this is because when I make Aurorodon using the remaining three, it is going to create tokens. And after that effect is activated, I cannot link summon for the rest of the turn. So we need to be wise and careful about that. So first, we'll do vert. Followed by Aurorodon. It's best to get in the habit of summoning all these tokens in defense, just in case you have any left on the field, because I guarantee you will. After that, we can go ahead and use Mecha Phantom Beast effect. We will send Mecha Phantom Beast, very, very important, and one of those tokens to summon Mecha Phantom Beast O-Lion from the deck. Then we will go ahead and go into Borload Savage. On summon, Savage will trigger his effect. And also Mecha Phantom Beast O-Lion will trigger his effect. I have already a uh, normal summon for the turn, but we can just go ahead and fill it up with some tokens. We'll equip O-Lion. All right, at this point, we are not done yet. We still have plenty that we can do. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to activate Lubalian's effect. I will go ahead and search to hand. Um, Baldrake to hand, just to have it, for next turn's response. I am then going to go ahead and use one for one. And I'm going to send Red Eyes Black Dragon to bring out a Black Metal Dragon. Then I'm going to use Cash Tira Birth, and I'm going to bring out Cash Tira Fenrir to the field. See, I have a choice here. At this point, you can activate Rise Heart's effect, but if I do, it'll lock me into Xyz, which will prevent me from using Anaconda, which is absolutely not what I want. So because of that, we will pass on that, and I will go ahead and do Vert, pay the life points, send Fusion, Slash, and we will use Red Eyes Black Dragon and Phantom Boots. Then I will normal summon, I will special summon it using Vert's effect. Then I will take and banish Phantom Knights. Search out Fogblade to hand. I'm gonna go ahead and equip Black Metal Dragon. Now keep in mind, all of your turns aren't gonna be this gas. This just happened to be the God Hand. All right, at that point, we will then go ahead and pass the turn, toggling to on. Okay, they have summoned to the field. I can now activate any of my bestials and that kind of thing, but nothing of concern yet, so we'll wait. They're activating a sanctuary uh, field spell, which prevents battle damage. Don't care. Continue battle phase. The only thing that they can potentially kill is our token or verte, neither of which I care about. Okay, so if he's targeting Borload, that means he has something at hand that he's going to trigger. So let's watch and see. There it is, honest. So in response, we will negate that with Borload. Now he has a light in Grave, so if I wanted to, I could go ahead and uh, bestial out, but he has to have a monster, which he just killed as only one. In phase, we'll pass to my turn. Okay, we went through their turn, and now we're on the follow-up turn. I have access to Lubelion, I have um, access to another Vert if I so choose, or I can start going into the Cash Tier line. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and trigger Rise Heart. I'm going to banish Ogre just to get the last um, card that I need on field. Then I'm going to go ahead and link these away into Chaos Soldier. I'm going to use Fenrir's effect to search another Rise Heart to hand. 
birth, can special summon, um, unicorn, ogre, or rise heart, depending on where I want them to come from. So ogre, I'm going to summon that. I'm going to trigger ogre's effect. Add prep to hand. Now, at this point, you see I still have a lot that I can do. I can also uh, start going into the bestials and uh, get out Lubellion, which in this case really isn't that bad of an idea, but we have more than enough damage on field. So one key thing with uh, Red Eyes Keshtira is you have so much um, gas once you get going that literally you can over damage them. Like right now I have 15,650 damage on field, that's more than enough. Um, I also have access to Dark Arms, so if I wanted to pop some back row, I could do that first. I could go ahead and go into Flare Metal to get some more battle protection and some burn destruction. There's just so much that I can do to keep going. But at this point, let's assume they don't have anything else. Winter Battle. Fenrir, its effect activates on attack declaration. They have a face-up card, which is the field spell, so I'll go ahead and banish that. I'll go ahead and hit. We'll attack with Slash, and Slash's effect can activate because Riseheart is a warrior. So I'll equip Riseheart to now get a 3600 attack slash. Hit. And Burload Savage is 4050, so we have more than enough damage. And so this is probably the best case scenario, but with that, you have a pretty strong board to beat. Okay, this time we're going second. We did not draw into any of our cash tiers so far, and not in that first draw either. So our best option is to go ahead and start leaning into our uh, bestial line, which we drew copious amounts of. So we'll go ahead and trigger Lubellion. I'll add to hand Magnemut. I'm gonna summon Black Metal. Striker, usual combo. Black Metal. We'll add uh, Red Eyes Darkness. Red Eyes Darkness. We'll send Striker. Activate Regained. Send Striker back to draw one. We drew one for one. It's not bad. So in this case, we'll use one for one. We're going to send Serenir. And we will summon Black Metal. Activate Serenir. We'll go ahead and send our other Lubelli into Grave. We will activate Magnumut. Uh, we will not need any more of our Serenir, but we also don't need Lubellian, so I'm going to go ahead and banish Lubellian. Activate Magnumut. Okay, now we have Red Eyes Darkness Metal. I'm going to go ahead and summon Black Metal. At this point, we will go ahead and go into Vert. Using both black metals, they're not once per turn, so you can double trigger like this. One. Two. Okay, at this point we will add black meteor to hand. We will also add... Um, let's see... Just for potential follow-up, because we are going to go into max DPS, I'm going to go ahead and add Red Eye Spirit to him. We do have access to Bestial Lubellion, so I can do that if I needed to get out the spell or the trap, but we happen to draw them all, so we're good. Alright, I'm going to activate Black Meteor. We'll go ahead and send one Red Eye Black Dragon to Grave. Special Summon. Then at this point... We could go into Soldier of Chaos, or we can leave them on the field for uh, damage on board. So we will do that. Activate Vert. Red Eyes Fusion. I'm going to activate or uh, summon Meteor Black Comet. So unlike before, I don't have to use Red Eyes Black Dragon. I can use Soul because Soul is a level 7, and Meteor Black Comet only requires a level 7 Red Eyes. So I'll do that. And I will also send a level 6 from deck, so I'm going to send Baldrake. Meteor Black Comet hits the field, 
triggering the burn effect. Then we can go ahead and send the other copy of Red Eyes to the graveyard to burn. Enter battle. Attack. Sylvans have a lot of graveyard recursion, so we can go into killing those one by one. And I have enough to kill them here, but I'm going to go ahead and show you a special thing that you can do, say, if you didn't have enough to kill. So I'll go ahead and set Red Eye Spirit, and then I'm going to go ahead and pass the turn. Magnum will search to hand. We will go ahead and we will add to hand uh, Ball Drake in this case. Okay, they summon, so we will respond to that summon by activating Red Eye Spirit. And this is the funny tech I said you could do with Soul. The Soul sort of gimmicky, but you can do this. Whenever you use Red Eye's Fusion, it makes um, one of your cards that you summoned using Red Eye's Fusion called Red Eye's Black Dragon. Red Eye's Soul burns um, by targeting one Red Eye's Black Dragon I control and burning them for the attack. And it's a quick effect, so during their turn I can burn them for 3500. Definitely a funny way to finish the duel, and a great reason to keep a Red Eye Spirit in your deck. Now let's take a look at a purely Cash Tira line. First, I'll summon Cash Tira Fenrir. I'm going to activate Cash Tira Fenrir's effect. I will add to hand Cash Tira Riseheart. I'm going to summon Cash Tira Riseheart. I'm going to trigger Kestir Riseheart's effect. I will banish Kestir Unicorn. Then I'm going to go ahead and summon Shangri Era. And after that, we'll go ahead and rest on that. Shangri Era during their standby phase. Now keep in mind, just like you saw, I could Ash, they could Ash this as well. It lets you special summon a cash tier from your deck. Usually the one that you're going to want to summon is Fenrir. To have that banish when they activate a monster effect. Here, they are trying to draw two and place them on top of the deck. Uh, we're not really feeling that, so we're going to go ahead and ash that. They triggered a monster effect, so in response, I can trigger Fenrir, and I can go ahead and banish what they just summoned. Also, they special summoned, so I have access to Soul, and they have a Light Engrave, so I have access to Baldrake. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and chain Soul, and then we're going to chain Baldrake in response, and we'll banish their Chirurgy. We will go ahead and we will summon Red Eyes Darkness Metal for some future follow up. At this point, during my turn, I definitely want to summon Unicorn because I need that continuous spell to be active. So I'm going to activate Unicorn, add Birth to hand. We will go ahead and activate Birth. I'm also going to want to get my uh, cash tier rise heart to hand so we'll do that at this point we need to go ahead and start getting some of our locks down so i can show you that combo obviously i could keep extending here i can start going into exes and all that jazz but because i want to show you how the full lock works let's go ahead and just go down that path even if it's wasteful so i'm going to go ahead and tribute these two then I'm going to search for prep. Then I'm going to go ahead and I am going to special summon Diablosis using Unicorn and Ogre. Keep in mind, regular Cash Tier will do this a little faster because they have typically more than one Shangri Era, so they can lock zones much, much quicker. So we are going to lock ourselves into Xyz and summon Riseheart. Activate Riseheart's effect to banish 
Um, one card face down. I do want to be able to special summon, so I'm going to go ahead and banish birth. Doesn't matter. Birth will trigger Diablosis, which will also trigger Shanger Era. Then we can start locking. When Shanger Era sees Diablosis banish face down, it will also trigger again. Diablosis can also detach for itself, and so we'll go ahead and do that. And then we can look at their extra deck and we can see, oh, let's see, uh, that's a problematic card. So we'll go ahead and banish face down Rika, triggering Shanger Era once again. Then we can activate Birth. We can special summon a uh, unicorn. And we have access to do it again and again and again. So we'll go ahead and go into battle. Fenrir attack, Fenrir trigger. Fenrir banish face down. Trigger Shanger Era. Monster zone lock. Unicorn. Unicorn trigger. Banish a card face down. Doesn't really matter in this case. Trigger Shanger Era. Lock five. And as you can see, we have enough damage um, to end the game here. So we'll go ahead and do that. But you can see how this can spiral out of control. And I did five zones during my turn. So they could easily, if they were playing pure cash tier, lock all ten. Even more so when the full support releases. So just keep that in mind for the future. But either way, they're done. Once the rest of the cash tier support releases, this will definitely get a lot more powerful. But I definitely see it being one of the top three versions of Red Eyes alongside D-Link and Adventure. Anyways, I hope you guys really enjoy this creative new way to play Red Eyes, and I'll catch you guys next time.